The GoPro Volta is the latest offering from GoPro aimed at content creators. It's an all-in-one tripod, external battery charger, and remote control, and it sounds really great in theory. But is it worth buying? As a longtime GoPro vlogger for the past four years, I have some really strong opinions about the GoPro Volta and who it's for. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the pros and the cons, as well as who I think the Volta is for, and some recommendations for GoPro to improve this product in the future. So let's start with the pros. GoPro is really packaging this as a creator combination kit, which includes the GoPro Hero 10, the Volta, the Media Mod, and the GoPro Lite Mod. And I like that GoPro is finally focusing its efforts on creators, because for a long time, and still today, the GoPro brand is really associated with action. And so it kind of seems like when you watch their ads that GoPros are only for those who do extreme sports or go out and do crazy things. It's not really been a camera that they've marketed for the everyday creator. But that's starting to change with things like this creator combination kit coming out. And I really appreciate that because we've been vlogging with GoPro ever since the Hero 7, and we've seen that GoPros are really great for things that are not just action-oriented. So bravo to GoPro for starting to acknowledging creators that are not just extreme sport athletes. The second really great thing about the GoPro Volta is that it acknowledges one of the biggest pain points that all of us GoPro users have had with GoPro, and that is the battery life, which has always been less than stellar. And actually, prior to the Volta, GoPro also released the GoPro Enduro battery, which these are fantastic. If you don't already have these for your Hero 9 or Hero 10, I really recommend them because they've been a real game changer for us in terms of vlogging with our GoPro. But these little batteries are about 40%, or they give you 40% more runtime with your GoPro. And they also charge 14% faster, and they allow you to use the GoPro in colder climates. So this was a great product addressing battery life. And now with the Volta, that also gives you, I believe, about four hours extra runtime if you plug it into your GoPro. So I like that GoPro is finally acknowledging one of the many pain points that we've had with GoPro and is starting to fix it by rolling out these new products. So now let's talk about some of the cons, starting with what I think is the biggest shortcoming, no pun intended, and that is the fact that the GoPro Volta is a little bit too short. The Volta is a mini tripod, but I personally don't get a lot of use out of a mini tripod, especially when I'm vlogging. When I'm vlogging, I am almost always shooting in linear mode, and that means that I'm eliminating the GoPro fisheye effect, which you typically get if you're gonna be shooting in ultra wide or wide. But when you shoot in linear, it zooms in on the subject a little bit. And so by doing that, I need to have a tripod or a grip that extends out so that I can film in linear, not have the fisheye effect, and still get my subject, which is typically me when I'm vlogging, in the frame. And the interesting thing is that GoPro actually makes several different mounts that have the ability to extend. We have the GoPro 3-way, which is really great for getting the camera out there and away from your subject, and also the GoPro Shorty, which is a mini tripod that has a center column that can extend. You know, it's still really short, but having, but it can almost double its height just by pulling out the center column like that. And that makes all the difference when you're trying to vlog with the GoPro. The second shortcoming also relates to the GoPro Volta being a little bit too short, and that's the fact that the, having the remote on top of that mini tripod just feels a little bit useless when you can't extend the tripod. Because if I'm gonna be holding a mini tripod and I have the remote right here, I also have the camera right above the remote. And it's not that difficult to just flip the camera around to adjust my settings or just hit the record button on top of the camera. So I do find that having the remote control on a short tripod isn't really that big of a perk. And the third major con about the GoPro Volta is that it's not waterproof. You can see that you have to plug in the GoPro to the Volta in order to charge it, and so that right there makes the whole thing not waterproof, and so it's a little bit less useful for those trying to do action in extreme conditions, or if you just want to vlog out in extreme conditions either. Like, you can't quite do that with this setup. So with all that said, who is the GoPro Volta and the Creator Combo for? 
Well, first of all, if you're someone who hasn't used GoPro for vlogging or creating content that's not action oriented, then this whole combination kit is a really great thing to get started with because it gives you the GoPro Hero 10, which I think is the greatest GoPro ever made. It also gives you their really nice light mod for adding a splash of light and helping you film in low light situations. And it gives you the media mod, which you need if you wanna attach an external microphone, or you can also use the built-in microphones to enhance the audio on the GoPro. And with the Volta, you're also getting extra battery life and the remote control, so the whole package is really nice if you don't already own GoPro products. Also, if you're the type of creator who doesn't mind having a short tripod and you can get creative with your filming angles or where you place the camera, then the GoPro Volta could definitely be a really great solution for you. And finally, GoPros are really great for shooting time lapses, whether it's in daylight or at night. So if you plan to set up your GoPro to shoot a time lapse, then having the Volta is really clutch because it not only gives you a mount for putting your GoPro down on the ground or mounting it somewhere, but it also gives you the external battery to charge it over time, which you definitely need if you're gonna be doing an extended time lapse. So that's another really great application for using the GoPro. Volta. So at the end of the day, I think the GoPro Volta is a really great idea, but I'm not 100% sold on it right now for the main reason of the Volta being a little bit too short. I would really love some way to get just a little bit of height out of the Volta, and if that were the case, then this would be my ideal mount for vlogging and content creation with my GoPro. Another improvement I'd like to see on the whole GoPro creator combo is with the Media Mod. I think I've talked about this in other videos, but now with the Hero 9 and Hero 10, the media mod only allows you to record using the front mic or the back mic on the media mod. On the Hero 8, you are able to record simultaneously with both the front mic and the back mic, so I really hope that GoPro brings that back in future versions of the media mod. And the last thing that I think can be improved on this whole creative combo is the light mod. So I have it right here. It actually attaches really nicely to the cold shoe mount of the media mod. But one thing is missing on my light mod, and that is the diffuser. It's a white piece of rubber that goes on the front of the light mod, and it's really helpful for making this light a little bit less harsh because it's a really strong light. And so if you don't have the diffuser, then you get really harsh shadows. And if you're standing in front of the camera trying to vlog and you have the light mod on, then it can be really blinding if you don't have that diffuser. Unfortunately, we lost our diffuser a long time ago when we were out shooting action somewhere with this GoPro and the light mod. <sighs> I climbed one of the arches. It's the biggest, coolest one actually. It's really nice. It falls off extremely easily, and because it's so small and thin, you can lose it very, very quickly. And as far as I can tell, it's very difficult to get a replacement. And so I'd like to see a version of the light mod that has a diffuser that can attach more easily to the front of the light mod. And at the very least, just make it easier to buy the light mod diffuser in case you lose it. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one out there who's already lost the diffuser. But anyway, that's my two cents on the GoPro Volta and the Creator Combo Kit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as I mentioned earlier, we've been vlogging with GoPro for the past four years, and we've been revamping our GoPro vlogging kit so many times that I think we've finally come up with the best GoPro vlogging kit. If you wanna see the setup, then stay tuned and subscribe because next week I'll be sharing that whole vlogging setup with you.